entrance is about here. among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. without her spirit. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... Look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly. He caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. 
so far from home. Thor. Ahem, what happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no, he fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But the truth is, the sweaty claw bag just got lucky. Dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Enemies ahead! Tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Rick lad. Thanks. His idea. to the survivors. Oh. Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. It's magically locked. <laughs>
is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Fossils up ahead. Do we fight them? Fine light crystal. I know what it's for. Hardened World Tree Staff. That's Andy. Betray us to me. What does it say? To Njord, we offer back the seas bound. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother. But I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy! Ready. more focused. Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Let's get to it. Who 
new. Fine piece of work. It, if I say so. Myself. You don't have to run off on my account. So what are you doing up here? I'm on a hunt for scap slag. Slap what? Scap. Slag. Ores with specific impurities that are the key to unlocking all sorts of unique qualities. One man's waste product is another man's artistic medium. Okay. Well, we're off to get a chunk from the tip of the giant's chisel. The big chisel buried under all the ice? Ha! Huh. Good luck with that. Hey, Sindri. Have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh, a little memento of your good pal, Sindri? I'm so... Terribly touched. So, this plan of yours. Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Right here! We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Hmm. I'll keep thinking. on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. 
That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Another crystal. Just give the word. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. We do? Going up, and what we need is all the way down there. Thick. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh, I get it now. Good. Going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel to not possible we cut it free write it down and figure out what comes next after so your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then you are welcome to suggest a different one Work. 
Not only fell a little ways. What does it say? When time itself is deserted, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Do I know that one? Winter lot. Quiet head. Doesn't like music either. Got it! Atreus, that word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thola. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. How is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well, turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them. Always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. Come on! 
did well. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? I have you. Right, you know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. Give the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Those are the guys we saw with Balder. His nephews? Aye. Magni and Modi. Sons of Thor. Mother always said the Aesir were the worst of gods. And Thor was the worst of the Aesir. I guess he's a terrible father, too. They are no longer children. They have no excuse. Will Sindri be okay? They'll never even see him. What's this over here? Oh, it smells awful. We'll need something to get through this one. help but break things, can you? <laughs> if memory serves, the Jarl's throne was just on the other side of that wall of ice.
path out, but there's no way to reach it. Something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? Ready and ready. Oh, what? Nothing? Oh, okay. Those men, what do you know of them? First, they're not men, they're gods. Well, demigods. Anyway, let's see. Thor's their dad, different moms, sordid story that one, Baldur's their uncle, Odin, dear old grandpa, oh, and a sister named... Weapons. How do they fight? Oh, of course. Magni's strong. Really strong. Carries a huge sword hardened by cyclonic thunder. And Modi? Ugh. I'd sooner lick a rat than shake that dung heap's hand. His mason's shields are just a cheap knockoff of my elegant work on their dad's hammer. Best to follow my lead and avoid. But, <laughs> who am I talking to? 
Will you focus on your damn job? And you quit that shit. I mean it. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go. <clears throat> and where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> 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 Does Odin want? Oh no, no, don't get it. Come here, Hattie. You're done now, Daddy's head. Shut up! Don't call me that! Can't believe you've lost this long. No skin in your arms, Bailey. I said, shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need another lesson. Oh, more than happy to teach you, Yeah! yeah! This 
behind you! He's my favorite. Over here! Stop it! Boy! Stay focused! He's sick. He needs flair. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. You killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps, but I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Ha! <laughs> 
Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? Wait, we were here before. But which way back? Hey! Did you hear? Magni, the Aesir god, son of Thor, dead! I know! Now Modi's on a rampage across Midgard, looking for the killer, swearing that once he finds him, he'll... Oh shit, that was you guys. We should probably discuss that more quietly. Or not at all. I think that's a great plan. To work we go. I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <coughs> Nothing to worry about. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. The giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. 
There is an opening. I can get it. There's a path to the exit. On the other side. Back under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Rode a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. Another one here. Ah, you know this one, don't you? It's Tamu, the giant stone mason. Is he building a wall around Jotunheim? It was to be his masterwork. He only wanted to protect his people. Too bad the first part got burned. I prefer the last panel was burned. Such a senseless pity. like like a prison that would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside but it's more than that i have this feeling like something is waiting for us down here you've a knack for ominous statements lad what kind of something i'm not sure something powerful whatever you feel boy we will handle it we have come this far yes yes father
A Valkyrie? Imprisoned? She actually did it. A Valkyrie? But I thought they were just spirits. Take caution, lads. A Valkyrie in the flesh. I can't think of a more formidable opponent. She does not attack. Does she even know we're here? Focus up, boy. You are unworthy. Freed me from my corrupted form. You have my eternal gratitude. But my sisters remain trapped as I was. Take my helm. Find them. Free them. The fate of the Valkyries rests on your shoulders. Fate of the Valkyries. Sounds pretty important. That's putting it mildly, lad. What do you know of them? A fair question, and yet not one easily answered. I know more than most, but much of their history is veiled in secrecy. My own experience with the Valkyries ends with my imprisonment. You are avoiding the question, Head. As I said, brother, it's complicated. I don't know why or how they become such wretched creatures. Perhaps if we can free more of them. You want us to find more of those things? The fate of the Valkyries, lad. A more worthy endeavor there is not. It will be dangerous. Well, that hasn't stopped you before, eh? Mm. That's the spirit.
What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden vault is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy.